Hi everyone, it's me Megan. I am back with another video. If you are new to my channel, I am a reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but I keep all my listings and all my posts updated on Poshmark uh, for the most part. Uh, if you are interested in checking out my closet or anything in this video that I'm about to show, you can go ahead and check out my closet. You can find me. The name is Megasis, but I'll also have it linked just down below in the description for you guys. And I am super excited today. I am doing another unboxing and this is actually my fourth one I've done in sort of a series that I've been doing, trying to find a new like sources to find clothes um, while being quarantined in the house. And the reason I'm so excited today is because this is my first ever thread up box. And this one in particular is the men's, I think 10 pound mystery box and it cost $40. It is mixed sizes. I got free shipping because at the time the website had a code that gave me free shipping. I don't think they have it anymore, but you could go ahead. I'll also link um, the rescue boxes down below. I don't think this one's available right as of right now today, but I feel like every other day they have boxes available and then unavailable and yeah. And for those of you who don't know, ThreadUp is a like online consignment store, so people will send in their secondhand or new with tags clothing items, uh, the website sells it for them, and then they get a portion of that money. And they actually don't sell men's clothing, so all this stuff is probably stuff that people sent in that they didn't want back, and ThreadUp doesn't sell on their website, so they just threw it into one of these rescue mystery boxes. And this one I got, I ordered it uh, on April 2nd, and it actually arrived yesterday, April 12th, and originally it said the expected delivery um, was between April 19th and April 23rd, so I got it about a week early, which is nice. I know some of their shipping is really delayed right now. I am actually expecting my one of my other thread up boxes to come today, the denim DIY box, and that one I just ordered like on Thursday or Friday of last week, and it's supposed to arrive today, so that one was really quick. And um, then I have a couple of the mixed women's clothing boxes coming in, probably within the next week or so. And yeah, I'm really excited. This is my first ever throw up box, uh, and I'll actually have my fiance join us. I thought it'd be fun, just because it's a men's clothing box, to have him um, just help me go through it and see maybe if there's something that he likes that he wants to keep, or just his thoughts and opinions. I've also seen a few other reviews online, and I don't sell a lot of men's clothing. If I like it, if I think it's cute, if I think it's a brand or a style that men wear a lot that they're likely to buy, I will pick it up. Um, so I, just from like different reviews that I've seen online, I do think that there will at least be a couple items in here that will pay for the box, and then everything else will be like an extra uh, added profit. So I'm just excited to see what we got. All right, so now we have Jack here with us, and yeah, we're gonna get started. Misty's also here, she's in the background. So this is what it looks like once you open it. It has a nice little tissue paper on the top. <laughs> once Monster wants it. And your receipt's on top. It doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure I got the 10 pound box. All right. Of course, he goes right for the Hawaiian shirt. He loves Hawaiian shirts. So this is a Mosimo uh, Hawaiian shirt. It looks, it's a men's shirt, but it looks really small. Uh, it's like lightweight, it's see-through. You don't have to move it that much. <laughs> yeah, it's a size small. This is cute, this is perfect for the summer. It has like Paris on it and Volcano. Uh, athletic fit, sport. Yeah, it's nice. It is pretty sheer, but um, I don't think boys mind that. 100% cotton. Cute, not your size. Ooh, Hawaii. That's cute. So we have this Hawaii Rainbow Warriors hoodie. I don't know if that's like a high school sweatshirt. That's kind of funny. It has like a weird tribal print. It's like athletic, not like cottony material. It's like a nylon. 100% polyester, Coliseum. Yeah, so I think that is sort of one of those generic brands that makes a bunch of um, like printed clothes for like sports and schools and stuff. Size large. 
I saw this one. This one's Under Armour. This is nice. But again, it'd be nice to go on a run with because it's going to be pretty lightweight. Heat gear. Loose. Size small. These smaller sizes I don't think are probably great, but it is an athletic top, so I'm sure some runners are probably a smaller size. So these are Polo Ralph Lauren. I don't even know. Chucks? Is that what you call them? Lace up. They're in pretty good condition. They're a little beat up around the soles, but not bad. They're cute tan. They have the polo on the outside. Polo by Ralph Lauren on the inside. Bottoms aren't in too bad of condition either. It's like a boat. I don't know if you call this a boat shoe. 100% matte upper, 100% fabric lining. 9D. And they have, I think the style is called Forced Mott too. Okay, nice things like a waffle shirt. Nice red waffle shirt. Ooh, Banana Republic. That's nice. Size large. Just a plain red, like crew neck waffle. Um, size large. 100% cotton, I think. That's what I expected. Um, so this is Banana Republic. I do think that's their, like, um, the three dots means it's their either factory or um, outlet brand. But this is nice. This is nice um, for, like, underclothes and to stay warm inside and everything. All right, the next is a t-shirt. Interesting. I think this is like a work tee, like something that a company made. Oh, yeah. For Sorry. like a fun day or something. This will probably just get redonated. I mean, it's not hideous. It's funny because it's Thor and like Superman, which are not from the same um, comic universe. Uh, yeah, Edward Jones, so definitely like a company's thing. Company picnic. Company picnic. A nice flannel button up. I did figure we'd probably get some, not um, not flannel, plaid. plaid. I always call everything plaid button up a flannel. Um, but yeah, plaid. This is a really like a nice dress color. Shirt. Dress shirt. Ooh, so this tag with the numbers on it, I do think, um, that means it was dry cleaned. So that's nice. Uh, what brand is it, Jack? J. Crew. <gasps> Ooh, J. Crew. Love J. Crew. Is it factory? No, it looks like J. Crew, just like the regular that's really nice. Size large, that's a really good size. This is a beautiful um, blue purple color. Very springy, very summery. It says machine wash, so I mean they could have got a dry clean still, but that's nice that it isn't dry clean only. 100% cotton. This is really nice. Yeah, size large. Cute. Love that. Oh, these are nice. These are look like a uh, a vintage sort of wide leg jean. These would be pretty cute as cutoffs too. I've sold one pair of Wranglers, um, like a light wash jean cutoff short, which were probably made out of like men's long pants like this. Sorry if you can't see them all. These are really nice. They're nice thick, probably 100% cotton jean. 35 by 36. 100% cotton. I love Wrangler jeans. I think they're really nice quality. I think they're on par with like Levi's and stuff like that. And so far, I haven't seen any, like, stains or rips or tears or anything. Cute, like these. Next, we have a hat. Um, but it's a Herschel Supply Company hat. I think I've gotten one of their backpacks before um, at Target, but it could just be a brand that sometimes does things with Target. This is actually pretty cute. You like it? <laughs> he likes, he loves hats. Okay. I like that color. And, yeah, there's, um... That is a nice color. Yeah, a lining, a red and white lining just on the front and side. But yeah, I think it's a really unique, like, navy yellow color. Like, you don't see a lot of hats like that. Wednesday. What? Come here. She makes weird sounds. Okay, you can pick the next thing. This is a really nice box. I'm, like, really, really impressed. Okay, grab the next thing. Jack's already interested. Oh, those actually are really nice. Those are, like, a nice, like, golf summer like if you have to dress up khaki short with uh looks like four pockets chaps stretch 32 you're 32 right? yeah so these are jack size so if you don't see them in my closet they might be in jack's closet there is like a bit of a mark just in the back but nothing that washing them probably couldn't get out chaps like i said size 32 stretch a very nice like athletic material these would be really nice for like golfing this is Adorable. I was peeking. This I'm super excited about. Polo Sport, Ralph Lauren, extra large, 
85% cotton, 50% polyester. This is really cute. That's like felt letters on it. I don't know. Yeah, I've never sold Polo Sport. I don't know too much about it. It's a nice like heather gray. It's really thick. Crew neck. It's in great condition. I think I could probably get a little bit for this. And I think this is the last item. Do you call this these end pants? <laughs> I guess we'll tell by the sizing. Swiss Tech. I was actually watching a YouTube video today, and the like girl was watch. wearing a Swiss Tech shirt. Mm -hmm. I don't know how popular the brand is besides like their logo. 32 by 30. So these are men's. They're a little short, but they'd be about your size on the waist. 98% cotton and 2% spandex. So they are a little stretchy. They're a nice like gray pant. I like this color. It's like a dark gray color. And they have some side pockets and stuff like that. That's really cute. So I'm gonna count and see how many items we have. I'll let you know approximately how much each item cost. One, two. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I got 12 items in total and I paid $40. So it was less than $4 like per item, a little less than $4. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna sell the or even try and list the weird Edward Jones uh, company t-shirt. What's your favorite item? The hat. I like the hat. <laughs> yeah, so Jack likes the hat, so we'll see if that gets posted. <laughs> it probably won't. Um, but yeah, I overall I was really impressed with this box. Um, I could see myself picking up a lot of these items at the bins, especially like the J. Crew and the Banana Republic. Love this Hawaiian shirt. Uh, the shoes are really in great condition. Yeah. favorite item was the bag. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, again, if it's not available when you go and check out the website, I'll have it linked below. Uh, if it's not available right now, just keep checking back. They always, in a while, they'll put a new box up. Um, so if it's not available today, it might be available tomorrow, but just keep checking. And yeah, I hope you guys are staying safe, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye! <laughs>